Welcome back to Bitsman Artist Life. This is Sandy here and it is big yeah. hair day. So my hair is like serious big today. I've been using like old products that I don't like, but I have because I thought maybe I'll like them now. And man alive, I got some big hair today. Can I just tell y'all? So when I was in like junior high and high school, I had perms, but that's because I didn't know my hair was curly, but like I just had to get like a wave and then my hair was like really, is that what it was called? Like a wave perm? Anyways, and my hair it would be super, super curly for like a long time. And that's because it had natural curl to it. So it's not real curly today because I used a product that, I don't know. But anyways, it got really big today. I was like, whoa, this is totally like my 80s hair, 80s and maybe 90s. We had like big hair back then, really big. And usually, oh my gosh, it may be the case now. Usually like, so if you go back to my high school, and so I was a cheerleader in high school and so we have like our senior pictures probably up on the walls and then also like cheerleading pictures. And any of my yearbooks from like junior high and high school, my hair never fit in the frame. So I wore it a lot, kind of like this, a little, sh it was shorter and had a lot more layers and it was big. If I can find any pictures, I'll insert them here. My brother sent me, he came across a picture recently. I think it was like from our church directory. And he was like, how many bottles of hairspray did Sandy have to use to get her hair this big? I mean, guys, it was Jai Normo. I mean, I was rocking it in the 80s and 90s. I can't remember now if it was the 80s or 90s because I can never remember dates or like how old I am or numbers. I'm not very good. But whenever that season of like big hair was, I mean, I rocked it. And I think it's coming back a little. I mean, I got some big hair today. Whoa, if I do it like that. I thought I would just tell you a big hair story. But there it is. That's what's happened. Bad hair products. And not really taking any time to fix it. That's what you do in quarantine. Can you guys see what my husband has decided to do while the coronavirus is going on? You can't tell how big this is, but this pile of brush is ginormous. Ooh, the smoke's getting me. Oh, it's blowing everywhere. Oh my gosh, guys. Can y'all see the um, stuff blowing everywhere? Oh, I always get so scared when this, when he does this. It's like five years worth of like brush and Christmas trees. It is burning up fast. Okay, I've got to go in because the smoke's so bad. Okay, let's just watch here from the kitchen. I mean, the flames on this thing are gonna get ginormous. It's getting all upset because I'm upset. Okay, can you see it? The woods are like not far from it. So that's why I always get nervous because the flames get so big. <sighs> I mean, it's been raining a lot, so I know that that's like fine. It still just makes me so nervous. My eyes like are all watery from all those, um, all that like <laughs> ash flying around. Um, okay, I got my coffee. I'm going Cooper's whining because I got upset. He's very sensitive. I hope this thing burns really fast because just makes me nervous. Okay, let's just go in the studio and paint. How do you feel about all this goofy? Huh? Is he a happy boy? Huh? You want to be out there with daddy, don't you? Do you want to be out there working? Oh, Bob, I need to be out there. Oh, Goobie. Are you my good boy? Yeah. Oh, that sweet face. Oh. Ooh, doggy, it is getting intense out there. I don't see Grady. I'm assuming he's someplace. At least the flames aren't real big right now. Oh, there's Grady. Heading out to check on it. He'll keep an eye on it all the way till tonight. Oh, it is. Big. I bet we'll have some people drive by to see if our house is on fire. It makes me so nervous. I'm heading back to the studio to paint. I just need to be in my element and leave this to Grady. 
So yesterday I got a couple of my paintings stretched, the canvas stretched, and I love how they turned out. I did probably the best stretch job I've ever done. I don't know if that's the correct, that sounded terrible. Um, the best stretching of like canvas. Anyways, let's go over to this. Here's one of them. Okay, one of my favorite parts about it, can you see the little peep of pink on the side? Let's get where the lighting's better here. Yeah, it's really nice. Isn't that a little pop of pink fun? And then here's the next one that I got done yesterday. Again, there's the pink on the side, which is the background color that you can see peeping through. My view, sunshine. Can you see that kitty? We haven't had sun in forever and we're just out here enjoying the sun. Cooper's enjoying it. Grady's weeding. Story of my life. And I'm just soaking up the sun. Story of her life. <laughs> I have medical issues that keep me from being able to Sandy. weed. <laughs> I would really like to weed actually. Uh, a little TMI here. So we might as well just continue the bathroom talk just a little. Doing really good with my conservation of toilet paper. I'm still on like the three or four squares. Here's what is really interesting though. Please let me know if any of you guys are doing this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the last two videos, go watch those. I've mentioned bathroom stuff and probably TMI. I don't know. So I'm hardly flushing the toilet ever. I get at least three or four bathroom uses before I flush a toilet. I think there's something about the smaller amount that I'm using that just feels like a lot of wasted water to rinse that down where before I was using small pillows. And I also like the way I would do my toilet paper would be like, I'd give it like a good Wheel of Fortune roll and let it just spin off the thing and then make my pillow. Yeah. So that I needed to flush because two or three of those would totally stop up the toilet. But now that I'm like in conservation mode, I guess we're also saving on water. Anyways, just thought I'd update you on that. <laughs> Don't we all like need to laugh a little during the season? There you go. There's the bathroom update. Guys, I thought I'd bring you outside for a minute. 
We're in our backyard. Story time with Sandy. The other night, Grady and I were sitting on the couch together and I was just feeling very thankful, grateful. My heart was heavy, but also full. And I just turned to Grady and I was like, babe, I am so thankful to not be alone, to you know, have someone that I love to do this quarantine with who makes me laugh. And I don't know, I just kind of went through a whole list of things that my heart was feeling. And also I think, you know, my heart's heavy because my mom is very isolated and all by herself. And was just thinking about that too and just really grateful to have somebody in life to do this really quarantine time with. I'm also noticing that my camera is really dirty. Anyways, stick to the story if we're doing story time. So anyways, I was very like heartfelt, pouring my heart out to Grady. And then he was listening to me and then he was like, this is getting weird. And I was like, um, you're supposed to respond with, oh babe, me too, and I'm so thankful to be with you, and you're so funny, you make me laugh, and you cook so good, and you're so pretty, and you're so fun to be with. I went through a whole list of things he would say, and I was like, that's what you're supposed to say. He goes, oh, I'm glad we had this conversation. It was really good. <laughs> Anyways, poor Grady. We got a good laugh out of it, but I am thankful. I'm thankful to have this property, and I mean, it just feels spacious. The sunshine has just been life to my soul. My studio has been life to my soul. Yeah, it's, I'm really thankful. Just wanted to bring you guys outside, those of you that are cooped up, maybe even in a, in a small apartment and maybe alone. And hope these videos can bring a little bit of laughter and life and outsideness that word outsideness to your home during this really hard season. Let me show you this little ecosystem. That's what I'm going to call it. On our back patio, growing on the like bricks, Grady's going to probably scrape it up soon and I really love it. It just makes me think of like little fairies and I don't know. Look. Okay, so here's like our breakfast room, our banquette little area and this pile of moss is magical it's got like little i don't know if it's going to show up on film but like little there's like little baby mushrooms there's little critters living in there it's really like thick and soft call me a weirdo but i love little things like this i mean if i could just be like a little person and like live in that would be really fun Poopy, do you feel so alone? Huh? Do you feel left out? Yeah. Okay, look at these purple things. I think they're called red buds. We have wild ones, a few of them. There's our behind the house mountain. This is behind our house. There's the pond. It's just beautiful. Grady's out riding his bike right now. Hope he doesn't get hurt. Uh, always get nervous when he does that, but I'm going to pack up here and go inside. Yeah, thanks for joining me on my little sit outside and story time with Sandy. Okay, I even pulled out my white pants today because I don't know the laws for the like white pant thing, white, pa white pants thing, but I thought, hey, if you're in quarantine and just staying at home, even though you're making a video and everybody else is going to sit, you can wear your white pants. Let me show you. else I was going to tell you guys, but now I can't remember what it was. I've been just not, like not watching the news. I'm like, I cannot take any more news. I'm quarantined. I know things are bad. I'm in the house, so I'm okay. Or I mean, as okay as you can be, but I just thought I'm getting so weighed down. I'm just feeling so much more freed up to create when I'm not watching the news. Um, yeah, I'm just in here creating. And it's been so much fun. Thank you guys so much. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Love y'all so much.